Well, we've been noticing, you know, in the last 40 years, an increase of one degree Celsius in the several, you know, most of our vineyards here in Catalonia. So this, uh, this is certain, it's not uh, something you can discuss about it, this is happening. And uh, the worst is yet to come, because, you know, it looks like this century we're going to have at least two degrees. And it's very bad because, you know, the vines are very sensitive to heat. If the, you know, climate keeps warming, there is no many more things we can do. And then we'll have to switch to different vines, more adapted to the heat, you know. And then the wines will be different. That's why we are so concerned, all the wine people in the world. Well, you know, as you know, in the, <coughs> when estimating the carbon footprint, there are three scopes. Eh? One and two, they depend on us. Eh? One is the, the gas and the gasoline we, pr we, we use our people to come to the company. That's scope number one. Number two, that's electricity. And number three is, uh, in one side, uh, the logistics, you know, of the final product. We send it to Japan, whatever. And in the other side, all the products you buy. Okay, uh, so in one and two that depend on us, we have done already a reduction of 38% last year, end of last year. The problem is that, you know, most of it, 80%, accounts for scope three, either logistics or products we buy. But we have already started, you know, um, for the last three years with the farmers getting them to reduce carbon footprint. We hope to get electric tractors in the vines, in the vineyards next year. And on the other side, you know, suppliers also. We had a meeting with them two weeks ago. We are asking our glass, you know, money, uh, suppliers, our carton suppliers, everybody to reduce their carbon footprint. They, they have to help us. Otherwise, we will never reach the target. So, and then in the logistics, you know, transporting the wine, this is more difficult. Uh, because then, you know, of course, we need, we need cargos, we need uh, navigation. That's more difficult, but we're still optimistic. Well, to me, eolic energy is the best. I mean, uh, fortunately, here in where we are now, we have not much wind, but we have some uh, small eolics in Rioja, because in our wine in Rioja, there, there is wind. And we were about to participate in a project, you know, uh, five years ago, here in Catalonia, in the mountain area, together with other uh, empresarios. And everything was ready and EON, the German company, was coming here to, to merge with us and we invested almost one million euros. And suddenly, you know, the new government decided to stop all the subsidies for uh, eolic energies, as the others, and the project was cancelled. So we lost a lot of money. I love eolic energy though, I think it's the future, really. Well, I will uh, really... Uh, I'll go on my knees and ask them very seriously to reach an agreement because it's going to be very bad, not only for the vineyards, of course, throughout the world, but for everybody, for every people, and especially the most poor people throughout the world. And I think it would be terrible, you know, for our generation to leave the planet thinking of the children, the grandchildren, you know, they're going to have a, a much, much more difficult world. And that's, uh, the consequences are, are terrible. They're still not uh, all estimated, but it's terrible. So they have to have an agreement. They have to have it.